Uh, when a beehive comes from the workshop where it is uh, manufactured or built, before it is taken to the field, it has to be prepared. And in the preparations, there are several things that have to be done. The first one is to do the cleaning because the bees will not enter a beehive which is dirty. Uh, they love themselves and they love smartness. So you have to clean the hive just like any house. Uh, before a bride enters, you have to undertake a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, renovations, painting and all this. So the same thing we do to the beehive. Uh, we do the cleaning. After cleaning, you have to do the numbering. Because for purposes of records and the management, you have to know which hive has what. So you must do the numbering. After that, you will have to do the baiting. Now the baiting is applying beeswax, either to the top bars or to the frames, in order to attract the bees. So we'll start by taking you through the process of cleaning. So the first thing you do in cleaning is you remove the frames or the top bars from the hive. Next, with the brush, you start the cleaning process. So when the box is ready, the next thing is you look at the bars or the frames. If there's any dirt on them, you have to clear and make it clean. Okay, you clean and you put them in place. And that process goes on until you cover the whole box, until you fill the whole box. So the cleaning process goes on until you fill the whole box. Then that is done. The purpose of numbering is twofold. Number one, to identify ownership of the beehive. And you have to use paint to identify them. Number two, to give them numbers so that the time of maintenance or harvesting, you have to know which hive has which problem or which hive has yielded how much honey. It's very, very important uh, because this is a frame hive. Uh, you have to know how many hives were ready, how many hives, I mean, how many frames have you harvested. It's very important because you don't, many times we don't harvest all the frames at the same time. We only harvest those which are capped. That is to say, ready for harvesting. The third step in preparing the hive for taking to the field is the baiting process. Here we use wax. For top bar, we use the wax. For the frame hives, we use foundation sheets, also made from beeswax. So the wax, we'll cut a bit of it and melt it in the wax box. We put on heat, preferably a jiko, a, stove, a charcoal stove, 
and, and uh, melt the wax. Then from there we use a spoon. We use a spoon. Uh, after the wax has melted, you use a spoon, you get some wax, and then you pour onto the tongue, to the tongue of the top bar. After melting the beeswax in the, in the beeswax tray on the fire, you use a spoon, you get the molten beeswax, and you pour onto the tongue, the whole of it, so that it flows across. It will not be surprising that as you do that, there are some bees which will visit you around, wondering what you are doing. And that is exactly what you are intending to attain, so that when you take this beehive to the field, uh, the bees will come immediately, either to occupy or just to scout around and come later on to occupy the box. So baiting, this is a applying the attractants into the frames, top bars, in the whole hive. So we have different types of bait. We have the beeswax, we have the lemongrass, we have the essential oils, and uh, we also have the natural attractants. Like some communities, they are using cow dung. We at the Wanderby, we are using beeswax to bait the Kenya Toba hive and we are using the wax foundation sheets for baiting the frames.